All right, since you've seen this horn last, it was a uh, like a, a dark blue or a CSX blue, probably closest to, uh, to that. Uh, stripped all the blue off and believe it or not, I did not sandblast or bead blast this horn to get the paint off. Um, what I did is I put the paint stripper on it, got most of the paint off, and then uh, what I done is I took a uh, pressure washer and believe it or not, it peeled all the paint off, every bit of it. And this is what I got here, painted a Conrail blue. And took all the back caps off. Uh, luckily, all the diaphragms in them, uh, in the back caps and all that stuff, was am amazingly clean. I mean, uh, no residue, uh, no nicks, scratches, or bends, or anything. So lucky with that. Uh, here's the uh, 31 bell, and it's waiting. Uh, Got to get some bolts. From Tommy Aker, uh, and one of the donuts has had a crack in it. Have to get one in before I can put it all together. Waiting on it, but uh, the the horn turned out amazingly um, real, real nice. Uh, like I said, all the paint come off of it. It's all uh, in you know real excellent condition. There's no dents. Uh, deep crevices, uh, there's no cracks in the manifold. Uh, here's, I'll show you some of the numbers on it, if you can see it. There's a JD39. And then, I don't know if somebody made a, let's see if I can get it around here, show you. And I think somebody made, well, I've never seen this, this style of tag on there, if you can see that, that's what came on it, I've never seen that, but uh, everything's real good condition. So I'm hoping to get this thing, uh, put together probably tomorrow. The parts should come in tomorrow and I should have it together and I'm going to blow it. Uh, I'll do a, uh, a video of it uh, sounding off and show you what it sounds like. But uh, when I blew it, when I first got it, it sound, sounded really good. So like I said, all the diaphragms in the back was was real uh, in excellent condition. So, And uh, I'll get this thing together and let you hear it blow. See you next time.